don't know much about the history of this giant, but uh, maybe you can fill me in a bit. I don't know a huge amount, but I've been yeah, reading up a bit about it. Fraser Island, as we know it, is actually Kigari, which is the Bachella word for the island, which is the native Aboriginal people of this place. And Kigari, by the way, is also um, is quite cool because that comes from a Dreamtime story. And Kigari actually translates in the Pashala language as paradise, which is pretty accurate. Okay. It's a nice place. She's it? not a bad joint. No. But yeah, I think it was, um, I might screw this up, so forgive me if I get any of these details wrong. But the Dreamtime story was of um, like a spirit who wanted to come to Earth to find paradise and look for paradise. And she searched and she was supposed to come here for a short time, but she came here to Kigari, to this sandy island, and she just was so in love with it that she didn't want to leave. So that is, they say that, that is, her spirit is this island, Kigari. What do you next? So Eliza Fraser um, was shipwrecked with her husband and the crew of the ship on this island in like 1836, I want to say. And apparently her husband, Mr. Fraser, was killed by the locals, unsurprisingly, because they had already seen Captain Cook sail past here. And there's actually evidence to suggest that Dutch sailors were here much before that because they found these old clay pipes that Dutch sailors used um, in sort of as a way of bargaining. Yeah. So I think it, putting things together, it seems like maybe would have come here, had a conversation with the local people, and tried to sort of barter and speak and um, you know do business basically. And maybe they would have given the local people the clay pipes as a way to kind of make friends. That's what you can gather anyway. And then Captain Cook came along and obviously showed absolutely no care or consideration whatsoever for them. And at first they just called it the Great Sandy Island and that was what it was um, featured on maps as from a lot of its history, even after um, Eliza Fraser was here and was helped by the Aboriginal people, by the way, uh, they um, assisted her. And in fact, there's other accounts of people from penal colonies in Morton Bay escaping and coming to Fraser Island and seeking shelter basically with the Aboriginal people. And there's actually this really beautiful poem or robbery that um, the Shella people had to describe the moment when they saw Captain Cook's um, ship and were you know, fascinated by it and wondering what the hell they were doing. These strangers, where are they going? Where are they trying to steer? They must be in that place, Thorvor, it is true. See the smoke coming in from the sea. These men must be burying themselves like the sand crabs. They disappeared like the smoke. And the Thorvor is the break sea split, which is um pixel on the cut. Bulla wallaby milna barrel. Bulla wallaby vinang barringa gunda yellam. Kalam wallaby dunam yellam gallum go. Yen man wallaby, wallaby yen man. Yen man wallaby, wallaby yen man. Yen man wallaby, wallaby yen man. Yen man wallaby, wallaby yen man.
know, just like heath and stuff. I we were expecting more just like sand, but it's got some beautiful trees, beautiful forests. I think it's the Koori pine and the white beech. Um, they then started, well, destroying, collecting and taking back the mainland. Um, and I thought that it would be a protected area now, but that's still continuing. They're still logging Fraser and they're still logging Kigari. And although it was suggested as being a perfect place to have a national park, you know, really, really early on, maybe late 1800s. But then, of course, timber, they found the timber. Well, apparently it was also one of the first places where they were trying to have reconciliation between Aboriginal people and European people in 1897, which again, was going fairly well. And then they were like, oh, we can make money out of it. So, um, and yeah, then that just went and unfortunately the Chala people, like many people, Aboriginal people in Australia were pushed to the side um, for Europeans to make money out of the resources here. This guy sitting just outside of our truck. Literally, I'm standing on the back porch right now. He's just chilling. It's hard to believe that they're so ferocious. Just right outside our back door. <laughs>
heading back to Inskip. Driven all the way up to the top and back. Sort of drove up the beach and back down the inland. We're feeling like pretty happy, like it's been a great week. I'm ready for a shower. And... You really need to change your underwear because it actually smells. <laughs> Don't say that. It does. Don't say it on camera. I have. <laughs> I think the viewers need to know <laughs> about your poor personal hygiene. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect for Fraser. Hi Hot Fraser.